Hello everyone. Um, hope your first experiences of lockdown and quarantine are going really well. Um, so as you know, Huzaifa, uh, Pandit from Kashmir. Um, even though quarantine is sort of a routine for us, but even this is quite difficult to enforce. Anyway, uh, thank you Ashwini and thank you Indian Novels Collective for this opportunity. I was just before lockdown, I was thinking that this time around we have had no poetry to read. Oh, it's too soft. All right, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Um, Manali, is it okay now? Um, can everyone hear me clearly now? Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, is it clear? Is the voice clear now? If it seems it's clear because nobody else is saying it's too soft. Anyway, so I was saying that I hope everyone is safe and to whatever extent they can practice social distancing, physical distancing, they are practicing that. And I was saying I'm quite thankful to Ashwini for this opportunity. Um, I thought that, you know, this year we will have absolutely no poetry. Um, grateful for social media, grateful for technology that all these things happen and I hope uh, people realize now on that you know back home where I come from how difficult it must be without you know internet without 4G. Uh, yeah spare the thought for those you know who are less privileged. Anyway uh, done enough with the introduction um, I'm supposed to read poems. I'm not a you know, great person at speech, so better start with reading poems. Um, so since this is a sort of you know at many places, including in Kashmir, you know curfew has been introduced again, and at a lot of you know places curfew is being reintroduced even in Pune, which I had never thought of in my wildest dreams. So I thought it's better that I start uh, with a poem on curfew. Uh, it's from my first collection called Green is the Color of My Memory, which was published a couple of years ago by uh, Hawa Karl Books. Anyway, so the poem is called Curfewed Friday. I hope I am clear and audible. Oh, a Kashmiri poem. Unfortunately, I will read on Kashmir, so in case they are all Kashmiri poems. If you say Kashmiri language, um, I don't have a poem in Kashmiri language, unfortunately. Can't write in Kashmiri. Uh, okay, so the poem is called Curfewed Friday. Uh, things were different once. Things were different once. The cleft sky won't burden my leaking skull. During the famine of addresses, I inhabited some square feet. Things were different once. The cleft sky wouldn't burden my leaking skull. During the famine of addresses, I inhabited some square feet. In the city of lights, who would have imagined gas darkness would reign? This nightmare had never hit me. Had the suspicion ever struck you? In the city of lights, who would have imagined gas darkness would reign? This nightmare had never hit me. Had the suspicion ever struck you? Definitely in a few poems, Ashwini, that I'm going to read, there are a lot of Kashmiri words. I'm trying actively, in fact, to incorporate Kashmiri into my poetry. So I hope you know you respond to that and let me know how that experiment is going. All right, uh, many rains rain. One even flooded TRPs and an ungrateful people. But the scarred blood stains aren't wiped from soter jalem or bruised apple shells. Now your blood is barricaded 
in the mesh screens of silence. Now your beloved is barricaded in mesh screens of silence. It has been a century. Once, when the city spoke a language, he was the Mosin. Now your beloved is barricaded in mesh screens of silence. It has been a century. Once, when the city spoke a language, he was the Mosin. Um, the next poem I'm going to read uh, concerns, which was written just a few days before the lockdown, in fact, on the day of Janta curfew. So at 5 o'clock, everyone here started to, you know, as the Prime Minister had uh, requested, uh, you know, that people should, um, you know, bang their thalis and other things to express, you know, uh, solidarity. So it reminded me of something that uh, an old tradition in Kashmir, you know, wherein we used to, in protest against the state, you know, uh, we used to also bang the tin roofs at the, you know, call of Hurriyat. Uh, so it's a sort of reminder of those days. So it's called uh, Five O'Clock on Janta Curfew. Was that what Faz called Shore Mahshar? Was, was this what Faz called Shore Mahshar? What is the promise Kaza? Kaza is death. Was the promise Kaza? After all, but my world ending without a whimper. Was this what Faz called Shore Mahshar? Shore Mahshar uh, those who know Urdu would know that it is in the Abrahamic religions the clarion call when a uh, judgment day will be pronounced. Was this what Faz called Shore Mahshar? Was the promise Kaza after all, but my world ending without a whimper? On the balconies, soaked in the evening sun, when the obituaries were sung, a satut of my poems flew from the din of our curfew to seek refuge with me. Ashwini wanted Kashmiri words, so here is a Kashmiri word. Satut is a swallow in Kashmiri. Out on the balconies, uh, not a swallow, sorry, a hoopoo, rather. Out on the balconies, soaked in the evening sun, when the obituaries were sung, a satut of my poems flew from the din of our curfew to seek refuge with me. I asked him, has the darbar been convened when they reward? I asked him, has the darbar, has the darbar been convened when they reward? And our penance will be dispensed to all the shadows gathered to moan letters we sent from across the stillborn rivers to inform you about our August siege. You know, on August 5th, you know, 370 was abolished and Kashmir was placed under the curfew. So, gathered to moan letters and I actually sent, you know, uh, Kashmir, you know, letters to my partner here in Pune because there was no other way uh, to communicate. Gathered to moan letters we sent from across the stillborn rivers to inform you about our August siege. Will the chains of the silence Will the chains of the silence shed off us like the sky sheds off Shishargant? Shishargant in Kashmiri is icicle. Like the sky sheds off Shishargant in spring snow. Will our moons in middle will our moons in mild March fly past the fence of thorns drawn by their snowmen so that our funerals don't slip past the patrols? and flutter like a jami shawl in the anxious skies or barricaded cities. Be our two answers, Satya. Satya is O, uh, o Hupu. In Kashmiri, when you have to say O, you add a Ya, you know, uh, suffix to the word. So Satya is O Satut or O Hupu. Be our two answers, Satya, written in the mirror, and fly me on the wings of a song, Abba sang every morning to untimely Kaza. Berlier, Berlier is 
training. I'm reading from Pune. I couldn't go home. I had escaped, tried to escape Pune. Uh, the female poet's, you know, the poet's f friend, the female friend, girlfriend, since in Kashmiri the poet is a woman. Berlier reminded Dilbar to recall his promise to free us from his name. Let go of his malal and return to us the shade of our old moon by the old mazar. Turn to us, Dilbar, the shadow of your metaphor and we'll find in their bells the call for our old fears about to happen. Turn to us, Dilba, the shadow of your metaphor, and we will find in their bells the call for our old fears about to happen. Um, the next poem uh, I read, uh, yes, is a poem that was written. Usually, I don't write poems. You know, in one go, you know, they, I love them to because I have the luxury to brood over them. But sometimes when, you know, one is very emotional and disturbed, so one has to write a poem at that time. So this is a poem that came, you know, when a boy, young boy in my neighborhood in Kashmir was run down by a police jeep. Apparently the driver was drunk. So, the poem is called you asked me to calm down uh, somebody told me that you know you shouldn't take things to your heart you should calm down so the poem is titled you asked me to calm down you asked me to calm down after i read on the slow internet a boy in the neighborhood came under a drunk police jeep i want to calm down like saw milk on a stomach belching acid. I want to calm down like the manic clock tranquilized on our wall by a dead battery. I want to calm down like tall mounds of red earth staring at RCC columns jutting out of the migrant sky. I want to calm down like faded graffiti on the broken wall of an empty house barricaded by barbed wire and bitter nettles. So I, I want to calm down like a hibernating hyperlink linked to a spam page masquerading as an underground library. I want to calm down like an ache. I want to calm down like an ache photographed in his sister's eyes but not quoted in the news article. I want to calm down like an ache photographed in his sister's eyes but not quoted in the newspaper article. I think I still have some time. Um, so, yes, let me read uh, this poem that was written actually in uh, Curfew, one of the first poems I wrote after August 5. Since I did a PhD on Darvesh, so you know, the, uh, one of the favorite poems is I'm Yusuf, O Father. Oh, is the connectivity poor? Um, I think people can see me. All right. It's called, I'm no Yusuf father, obviously taken after Darvesh, who said, I'm Yusuf, uh, oh father. So I say, I'm no Yusuf father. I'm no Yusuf father. My brothers aren't content to push me down the well. They tear me tender limb to tender limb with their sleeved hands, sharp as a crescent and fling my torn body down the well. I have lain in this well since a century. Many caravans have found me. Many caravans have found me, sewn me back together, and thundered my soul back into me. Many conjurers have exhibited me, then sold me to the slippery mirrors of deceived history. Father, will Aziz buy me and accord me my liberty? I am no Yusuf father, I dream of no sun or the moon, nor does the evening star bend before me. I dream of apple orchards on fire in ripe autumn. I dream of winter droughts with the sky wound tight against my wintering heart 
and the rebels rebel shul hit in the executioner's yard and the rebel shul hit in the executioner's yard who will interpret my dream father i am no yusuf father i lie expectant in the dungeon but the cup bearer has no use for me the king never dreams now and sleeps light in his fortified bed the gods assure me day and nights day and night slide in through the skylight but carry no hoopoo song no song that carries the broken horizon in its fertile beak no song that foretells fearful kings will judge me i am no use of father all the snows of december are not enough to wipe the blood stains of me my brothers no longer blame the wolf they own all responsibility why do they rage against me father i only said i dreamt of daisies on every window of the city i dreamt spring whispered a secret fragrance to me as it rained her shadows in the mirrors bred in every corner of the city i am no yusuf father i can dream no prophecy um i think my time is nearly over but i'll read uh just one last poem it's called uh when i dream it was actually you know one of since i you know, come from kashmir so ptsd is a natural corollary uh so i get this dream often uh, that um since i have been shot at thrice by the crpf and jk police so uh it's a recurrent dream that keeps coming that i am being shot at you know i am trying to flee a barricade so the poem is called when i dream some mornings i wake up from a dream where i frantically flee from a neat barricade laid by men in olive but in vain the bullets fired shatter the glass maps of my sleep into bitter sharpness in my chest those mornings i resolve to follow the fi who declares aaj purani raahon se koi mujhe aawaz na de nobody call out to me today from the bolted lanes or bygone days don't dole out songs soaked in the scent of elegy don't dole out songs soaked in the scent of elegy or console me with the simmering santur of misery i too will disown i too will disown my poems and exile them in curtain palanquins of clouds declare a new revolution scrub off from the city walls the sc- declare a new revolution scrub off from the city walls scrub off from the city walls the scriptures of our old sentences neither those sweet assassins nor our symbol prayers rub off from my hands all pretense that the fog awaits your command to reveal all potents of jade rain tell tale tales of fathers sons and their cargo and sprinkle sky and earth with songs of our regret all the idols our poems prayed to stand long smashed no men and kills or blind rituals bind us now to the tense waters cordoned off long ago cordoned off long ago to tourists to give the summer place to give the summer palace on the hill a new sheen and so ended our spell thank you um i think my time is nearly over isn't it ashwini uh yeah i think so so yeah thank you all um for being here uh listening i know i am a terrible hey gentlemen i am a terrible a uh, reciter reader i don't read well but i hope it was all right um thank you um yeah so i'll see you later bye